Hi, it's Miss Pretzel Mountain, the library media specialist at Appleton West. And yes, I am sitting on the floor of the library because I wanted to have the some of our new books as my backdrop <laughs> for this book talk. Um, one of the new books is a second book in a trilogy. Uh, the trilogy is called The Loop because that's the title of the first book. That doesn't always mean that's the title of the series. Uh, ben Oliver is the author. Um, this is dystopian fiction. So dystopian is that future world that's, yeah, not so great. Uh, and for those of you who may not know, uh, utopia is the perfect world. Well, <laughs> we have a lot more books about dystopia than uh, utopian. So um, there are some people who've like compared this to The Hunger Games, and I'm going to say, if you like The Hunger Games, I think you will like this. Um, I don't know that it has the depth, maybe, of The Hunger Games. Um, I did like it, though, and I liked it enough that I actually went out and bought this book on my own, which I am a library media specialist. I love books, but I usually wait for the library to get a copy, um, you know, because that's... You can borrow it, <laughs> read it, and return it. All right. So what did I like about this? So Luca is the main character, and, you know, you're like, why is he? He's in a prison. Why is he in prison? You know, you get that little by little. Should he really be there? This is a prison that's kind of run by computers or what we would call artificial intelligence or AI uh, more than it is by people. Um, and things start to stop happening. So, like, he gets books delivered and his food is delivered and everything. There's very little, there's actually like next to no human-to-human uh, -human interaction in this. Even his, the other people in the prison, like when they go outside, there's these walls so they can like talk to the other people, but they can't really see them. Um, he's also been sentenced to death, but uh, anybody in the prison can get their sentence like, um, Extend is not the right word. I can't think of the right word. But, you know, if they agree to be part of an experiment, you know, they get to put their death sentence off, you know. And so a lot of prisoners obviously do that. Um, and the other thing that's interesting about this is there's something every day called an energy harvest, you know. So, like, they're fed relatively well and they have lots of time to exercise. Um, but then there's this energy harvest every day that really drains them. So in, in these two books, there's the prison, which is an interesting setting. There is uh, kind of a, things kind of go weird in the world outside and the prisoners realize they kind of have to like get out of there or they're gonna, like they are gonna die. Um, so there's a prison break. Um, and some, some hunger gameish things happen during that, that prison break. It's, uh, I, like I said, I liked it. The third book is coming out, I believe, in May. And I know that I will probably read books one and two again because I went through them pretty fast um, trying to get caught up on all the YA literature there is, which there's a lot of them. I'll never be caught up. So um, I did like this. So if you like are interested in dystopian literature, uh, I think that this might be a, a series for you. It's It's got a male main character which is a positive I think um, and um, it's got a not, it's like I said I think the way that Ben Oliver writes it I think it'll keep people interested and I think it's got enough action adventure to keep most people interested in it so um, I hope you read if you don't read this series come in and I will help you find something else to read so have a fantastic day and keep on reading